Welcome to Issues in Japan. For viewers who are unfamiliar with the Japanese emperor and imperial family, I would like to present a series of videos on the theme of What is the Emperor? This is the ninth in a series. The emperor has not been given political power. The Constitution of Japan, from Article 3 onward, mainly describes the rules for the emperor's conduct of state affairs. The most important point is that the emperor is not given the power to conduct actual politics. The emperor summons the Diet, dissolves the House of Representatives, and appoints ministers and Supreme Court judges. All of which require the advice and approval of the cabinet, and for which the cabinet is responsible. In other words, although the Diet and the cabinet actually make decisions, the emperor is supposed to do so formally. There are quite a few tasks that the emperor performs that are related to the country. But these can't be done at his own discretion. Although the emperor cannot be involved in actual politics by his own will or judgment, he plays an important role in bringing the people together by formally conducting important national affairs. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.